Aquaba. Welcome to Expat Life Ghana. I'm Tony. This is my wife, Ayo. We're documenting our move from Texas to Ghana as we go beyond the return. We are getting ready for travel to the U.S. next month, and we are feeling a little bit anxious. Yeah, I gotta go back to being black. <gasps> We are getting ready to travel internationally on our way back to the U.S. for a quick visit. A quick visit. Yes, really quick. <laughs> Honestly, we need our passport stamped so we don't overstay our visas. <laughs> if you watch this channel, you know that Tony is going kicking and screaming back to the United States. Absolutely, absolutely not something <laughs> I care to do, want to do, have any interest in doing. We need our stamp bay, so we gotta go. Yes. We gotta go. The only reason I'm leaving. So why, why are you feeling stressed? Ooh, it's just, it's a lot to unpack. Um, leaving Ghana and thinking about going back to the States, but you know, all that's happening there right now with everything. I know, but I think, I think there's a lot of baggage going mm -hmm. on, a lot of, I even am feeling anxiety. Yeah, and I'm what? usually like, all good. Well, why are you feeling anxiety? I don't know, is it like psychosom, I don't know, I'm like, maybe I'm getting it from you? I, I don't know why I'm feeling stressed as well, but let's let's unpack all of this and figure out what's going on. Um, the first first one, obviously, mm -hmm. I think we both have some health concerns. Yeah, um, I've been kind of in Ghana going just free nilly willy here with uh, COVID concerns, and you know, looking back onto the states, things don't look that good there. New yeah. variant, um, uh, COVID. It just seems like it's, it's just, uh, yeah, it feels like they're still very much in the midst of it, like in the trenches. Mm -hmm. You guys, it feels like the U.S. is still in the trenches. Yeah, and yeah. in Ghana, it's just had this feeling like it's here. No, no doubt that it's here, but right. it's managed. Like we have right. precautions in place and protocols. So I, I, yeah, I don't feel stressed about COVID here. Yeah. Um, but I feel stress and pressure with COVID there. With COVID there. Yeah. And and uh, flying still. Like, I know we flew yeah, here. Yeah, we flew here. Yeah, and I'm <laughs> even having that a little bit, just going through, you know, a couple of different airports where, you yeah, know, taking risks. Yeah, so we were very specific when we booked our travel to make sure that we didn't fly through any other countries yeah, other than going, Ghana yeah. and the U.S. Yeah, going which, straight flight. Right. So that hopefully will minimize some of the exposure. But still, you know, you're in an airplane for like 18, and a half 19, hours. Uh, yeah, like no, in total. Oh, in total. It's a long to be, time, yeah. plus all the airports. I'm going to be the weird one on the plane who's like holding the mask and then shoving the food underneath or just a straw. <laughs> it's like, okay. I'm going to have a drink and go to sleep. Okay. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so health is definitely a thing, I think, yeah. both of us. And I had to tell the boys today about um, their COVID test. Yeah, no one likes those things. Nobody likes those. They Now they're feeling anxious. Right, they don't, they don't like it. Leo's like, uh, do I have to leave? I know, so he let's... did actually say that. I was surprised, because he's been really excited about going. But today when he found out about the test, he's like, I'm going to stay. So there you go. The United States is not more than having more right. positive than taking a COVID test right. like this. Right. <laughs> well, so there's that. Um, what's the other reason you feel like we're hmm. really... I, I feel Safety like... concerns. Yeah. I'll yeah, put it yeah. out there. The, I can't lie The West that. is looking like the wild, wild West right now, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I can't even lie. Hi, I'm Leo. Subscribe right now. Okay, so we we talked about the increase in violence, mm -hmm. um, and I think we have been having conversations about it too. And Luke said the craziest thing the other day, and I was literally like, mm, "For real?" Yeah, the He's, twelve year old. Yeah, he said, "It's weird in the states. You need a piece of paper to show that you've had your vaccine, but you don't need one to carry a gun." Texas, are you listening? I was, I was so bothered by. Yeah. I, I mean, like that. Yeah, he he gets it. You know, it's like everybody yeah. can. You just find a gun on the 
corner. Put it's it up. crazy. So gun violence has really gone up. Mm-hmm. Um, what else have you noticed that's got you feeling anxious? Roll rage. Road rage. Because I like driving and, you know, I might cut somebody off once in a while or something, but, yeah. <laughs> what about driving there, getting pulled over, um, looking in the mirror for the guy behind me, uh, you know, ready to pull me over. Those things, you know, just, I'm, I'm so relaxed here. I don't worry about, you know, getting pulled over. I don't worry about the police here. Um, so... Uh, yeah, I got some concerns about driving. You you actually, you you were driving down the road uh, not that long ago, and you saw flashing lights behind you. What happened? Yes. Uh, there was a police vehicle behind me um, with the uh, red and blues on, and I pulled over, and he started pulling over. And then he realized that, oh, my light's wrong. This idiot thinks I'm trying to pull him over. And he pulls it uh, you know, on the side of me, and he's like, Come on, go, man, go. And I'm like, okay. So I just took off on him and went about my business. But He thought you were going over because, like, there was something in the road. Yeah, he thought it was something in the road, so I was pulling over to go around it, and he's following me. Then he's like, wait a minute. <laughs> did you feel any stress or anxiety? Initially, I did because I'm like, you know, what did I do? Why is this guy, you know, pulling me over? But then as, you know, I realized what was happening, he's like, Come on. Get <laughs> Nobody want to talk to you and stop you, man. You're not in the States. So. And, that, and, that, and that's the, that's the you know, yeah. kind of other side of the coin there is how yeah. do you feel when you see lights in your rear view when you're driving in Texas? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, God. Please let it be somebody with half a brain that won't Aww. kill me. <laughs> oh, no. There you have it. So that's my anxiety. Yeah, that is a lot of stress. I mean, it, you know, I think we don't realize how much we carry around with us. Yeah. I, when we're there, because that's that's all you know, right? Yeah. Like you didn't know before you came here that there was a different. There were differences, other than like regional differences. Not like that, right? right. Like right. you might feel different in Louisiana versus you know how you feel in Wyoming. No, yeah. no offense to those two places. I'm just picking them. Or like how you feel in Chicago versus how you feel in LA. Just it's different. Yeah. Contextually, but is that yeah. gonna? How do you feel about the baggage you carry around all the time? Well, you see, the I guess I'll be the the thing that I'm really not looking forward to. Uh, going back is picking up that blackness baggage, that um, black man baggage, that I'm a minority baggage. That's the thing that I I don't want to look forward to going back to. I'm not having that. You know. That's like the saddest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. And the saddest part to me is that you carry that baggage, but you know it's not like someone handed it to you all at once you accumulate it over your lifetime, right? Oh, like yeah. As you're growing yeah. up, you pick up more and more baggage that is associated just with being black or just with being a black man. Right. And don't get me wrong. I love being black. Great. Number one thing that, you know, I can't, <laughs> can't do anything about that. But... Would you? I Would you know. be like... <laughs> I think Chris Rock made a joke. One day he's like, you know, it's some white, one-legged, one-armed bus boy. It's like, you know, wouldn't trade places with him. It's like, and I'm rich, you know. It's like, no, I'm going to ride this white thing out. And it's like, no, I'm going to ride this black thing out. I'm having an awesome ride. So. Aww. But do you feel like you were having that same awesome here, ride in the States? in Ghana. I'm yeah. having an awesome ride here in Ghana with it. There, it's, you know, it's, it's tricky because you got to... You gotta pull back your blackness some. You got you can't be like, I'm that proud black man. You can't be yourself all the time. I mean that's that's yeah. what code switching and you know <laughs> yeah. you you what is it? You you sound so educated. You sound you speak yeah, so you well. Speak so well. Like that's the yeah. that's the that's the role you have yeah. to play. You and have to play parts. Right. And what like, you know one of the things that I know that what well, will change is like my loudness when I'm out with the guys. We are loud, <laughs> and uh, sometimes you know it can get a little what sounds like confrontational, but it's just people just 
trying to talk louder. Yeah, and we have a shirt in the store that says, um, "I'm I'm not arguing. I'm Ghanaian." Yeah, <laughs> so talk. it's like you know having to go back to okay, hey, you know, a group of black men over there about to fight or argue. It's like no, no, they're just getting their point across and enjoying the day. Yeah. So it's it's. Something to pick up that blackness baggage that, okay, I have to go back to knowing my place in society, that baggage. That... Oh, and how, like, how heartbreaking is it that that mm -hmm. is part of, that's part of going back to the United States is that now you have to take on all these things that you were, you were allowed to release over the course of the last year and a half. Like you didn't have to carry it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it feeds back into like identity a little bit too, right? Like you don't have to be a black man you don't have to be a black woman you don't have to be <laughs> any of the negative things that come after after black right that right. are are typical in the states you just get to be you mm -hmm. you just walk around in your skin and it's all it's fine yeah yeah and like you know just going back to paying attention to where i'm going when i'm going to these places like here there's there's about three places that i will steer away from um a shyman. There's a That's because of the traffic. So the <laughs> no, that's not the only reason. I won't go to a shyman. Oh. Uh, like a shyman, Nima, and there's another place, that Liberian camp. You know, it's just areas that I just won't go to um, huh. unless I got some uh, oh, someone with there. me. But now it's like, okay, going back to the States, I have to pay attention to where I'm going to because, you know, you I, don't, go anywhere. I don't like being the only black guy in places. Hmm. I'm not missing nobody. Like, oh, I don't know what happened to Tony. Or you'd have to wonder too. It's like, does somebody else see me as being misplaced? Right, right. You know, it's not even. Yeah, yeah. it's. It's I, it, now you have to worry about what other people see about you yeah, instead of just like being in your place. Yeah, yeah. I could belong in their neighborhood. I could live in their neighborhood. You know, call the cops on me. Things like that. I don't That's know. never happened before, Tony. All so right, anyway. So. <laughs> um, I think the other part to me that was disturbing when Luke made that comment was that I feel like by, by making this move, we've saved him from having to pick up this baggage over time and, and Leo too, mm -hmm. and allowed them to be in a space where that's not the most important thing or the, the lesson that we right. have to teach him above all else is how to be black and be safe. Uh, and it's interesting that he still, he associates that kind of line of thinking and that commentary to the states he doesn't associate that with being in god right right so he too is like you know this is something that he has to pick up and carry when he goes back as a 12 year old uh -oh. and and i think once once children start moving around internationally they see the states for what it is and they're like Ooh. oh i think adults too i think uh, black people <laughs> my fellow black americans Travel outside of America. Because it's, I don't even think that you know what's out there, what options, what possibilities exist. Mm -hmm. Because we live in this very like boxed off view of everything. <laughs> and in, we're not told that there's something different or something better out mm -hmm. there. Like right. we're, we're told yeah, America's yeah, greatest. Yeah, you're discouraged from, yeah. from looking because America's so great. Why would you want to look at something? Less than that. So it makes me sad that when you say you have to pick up your blackness, I feel like I have a little bit different. I, I'm still picking up the baggage, but I don't think it says right, to the extent right, that you right. you feel you feel yours. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I, I'm going to see my mom, and she lives in a um, very um, segregated state. Is that is yeah? That it's the most state? segregated state in the nation. It definitely. So it it's one of those things where. I have to really then go back to <laughs> that my good old days, because we've lived in Texas outside of Houston for a long time. It's a little more racially diverse. Going to where my mom is, there's no diversity. So I do feel like I don't even have to regress back to what it was before we left. I've got to kind of bring myself back to even <laughs> before then. All right. So we'll see how that... Yeah, so... Uh, okay, so there's one other thing I feel anxious about. What, what is that? <laughs> I feel anxious about driving, but not because I'm worried about driving while black. It's because I'm worried that we have lost <laughs> a little of our American driving skills, driving Ghanaian, which includes like 
left turns in front of people who are coming. <laughs> like, oh, oh no, 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 yes. no, 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 no. I, I think, no, for me, it's I'll be quick to go back to my don't do this, do that, go by the laws and stuff like that. Cause you can't I'm be driving not, on the curb. I'm not trying people. to get any tickets <laughs> while I'm not trying to have zero police interaction while I'm in the States. I haven't driven uh, extensively oh, in like over a year. I mean, I, I come and go quick, but I don't do like a lot of driving. So I am a little, um, gotta, mm -hmm. might have to build up my confidence in the car a little bit when we get there. All right. Get that, yeah, that out of the way. But that's, that's it. So are you, are you excited to go? Are you feeling, is anxious, uh -huh. the anxiety winning over the excitedness? No. Excited is winning? No. <laughs> anxiety is I, winning? I don't know. It's like, oh, one no. day I'm like, ooh, but... The things I'm excited about going for, you know, I'm like food related, crawfish. <laughs> this southern Catfish. boy just wants to go eat in the south, y'all. Some brisket. <laughs> oh, wow, some shrimp. You have some ribs. shrimp and grits. You, have you know, so um, you know, that's that's kind of why. I'm, You're really just going for the stamp. I'm just going you for guys. It. He's just going for the stamp. Yeah, he I have. Even go. Yeah, I don't. I don't. But I figure if I'm going to leave, you know, just take advantage of it, and that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. So um, I still am feeling more excited, but the anxiety creeps up and it's really like kind of very pronounced. Yeah, she, <laughs> she may get a call. Yeah, yo, so I missed my um, flight, but um, they refunded me my money and I just gave it to somebody <laughs> and they stamped my passport for me. So I'm not coming. That's what we need is we need somebody at the airport who'll just stamp your passport. <laughs> just kidding, we would never. We would never do that because we don't play with the loss. No, 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 no. Anyway, well, that is how we are feeling about travel anxiety. If you yourself have experienced the collecting back and releasing of black baggage that is <laughs> yeah. our lives, drop a comment below and let us know. How did that, how did that impact you? What do you, does the, does the anxiety win over the excitedness? Is hmm. it, is it all overstated? Drop a comment below and let us know what you think. I know people watching are like, well, I'm more excited because I'm coming to Ghana. So. Yeah, but you know, at some point... I can't wait to feel like that in a couple of weeks. I'm on the way back. Yeah, but that's the thing. You were excited to come to Ghana when you were coming for the first time. Mm -hmm. You didn't know then that you were carrying around this much baggage right. that you were going to allow yourself to release, which makes going back so difficult. We get a lot of people in the Facebook group who are very like they knew they were going to go back to the states they were only here for a short amount of time and they're just like whoa i don't want to go back i don't want to go back because i know i have to go back to what i didn't even know yeah was weighing on me all this time yeah it's like the craziest thing is like you know being black in america because when we're not that's not us but being black here is different because like everybody's black so what's well, black no, you just you're not the you're funny just, black girl. You're just yeah, the funny girl. Just the funny girl, <laughs> yeah. You know the tall black guy. You're just the tall guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's just a different kind of experience. I hope if you ever stood in that place and wondered if there is something else, I hope that when you watch us, you know that there is. There is. Yeah. Absolutely. And with that, Charlie out for now. both feeling a little bit stressed by this yeah. trip. Why are you stressed? Oh, it's just so much to unpack. Like helicopters flying around. <laughs> Me like safely. Like the SWAT team go drop down. What's happening out there? Is it landing in the yard? Yeah. But... <laughs> okay. <laughs>